for the serious gamer. Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics, and I can't believe I'm actually doing a commentary over a video for once. I'm so used to doing the live commentaries, it's kind of made me a little bit lazy. It's like, what shall we talk about? Anyway, this is uh, some yeah, clips from our games last night. And by last night, I mean, I think it was October 6th. Anyway, I, I, yeah. I haven't uh, done any live streaming uh, from our website in a while, and last night was one of the first times in about three weeks that I did that. I was feeling up for it, and I stayed up quite late playing. It was a lot of fun, actually. And this is where we actually, if you're wondering how you play with Spiderbite and myself, it's usually we only dedicate it to our live stream subscribers. Uh, which is a premium monthly service we run from our website. Uh, and I believe Tuesdays is free. So if you wanted to check it out, you could just go on the website. Uh, I'll put a link on it as well. But every Tuesday, it is uh, free. And uh, But again, even though it's free, you're mainly going to be spectating and watching. And basically, you'll see us play live. And we pull in our fans from uh, our website, the actual live stream subscribers. We play with them, random. And the way I do it when I'm playing these games is I don't actually invite them. I don't set up a team of six. Because we have so many live stream subscribers, I think the, the, the best way to do it is to actually let them join. So what I do is I start in a game, whether it's team deathmatch. Usually I start the night with a team deathmatch, sort of to get all loose. But I prefer to go into search and destroy. I like the tactical aspects. So anyway, I start a game. I just go in. And then what I do, and I know it's kind of a little bit hypocritical. Uh, but I wait for the live stream subscribers to join on me. Normally my comment says join equals delete. And uh, just recently, um, I actually did delete someone. Uh, and whether or not he understands or not, it's not really my problem. I have join equals delete. The individual kept on joining. I, I said, listen, don't join. I'm recording videos. And I was. I was trying to create some videos. And then all of a sudden, he came in one more time. Whether it was, oh, I just, sometimes it's, oh, I just, I just had a quick question. I'm like, I told you not to join. Now you are deleted. And I automatically sent him to the block list as well because I don't want to hear it. And I don't want to. Normally, you get a lot of anger when that happens. But I don't do it to be a dickhead. It's because I'm, Gone. you know what? I create, we create a lot of videos on hey. Next Gen Tactics. And I don't have time hey. to sort of have people coming in and, and uh, you know, it's like trying to get <laughs> FaceTime in front of a camera when you see some reporter on the street. You're like, ah, woo, look at me. I'll shave my ass. You know? <laughs> If that happens, I just eliminate them and I don't have time. If you respect me, I'll respect you and I'll keep you on. But don't ever join. If you ever get on my friends list, don't ever join if it says join equals delete. All right, so all that garbage aside, what I'll normally do is I'll say, uh, please join or just join. You know what I mean? Letting everyone on the friends list know that no matter what game I'm in, they can just join on me. And so I start in a game like this, Team Deathmatch. And then eventually, as spaces open up, members of the live stream or uh, members or friends that are on my list, which are usually all live stream or NGT Elite, can just join on me. And then we end up, the reason why I like doing that is because that way, every player, there's not like a set of five individuals that are always playing with me. You know what I mean? It always mixes it up. We're all randoms. So the teams are always fresh. They're always new. And there's, you know, it, I think it's a lot even and a lot better that way and it makes it a lot more fun at least for me it is i think it's a lot more fair too and that way i don't have to pick and choose and say well i didn't get to play last week you know what you gotta get in there you gotta be fast it's random it's how persistent you are how bad do you want to get in a game and be on the live stream that's up to you so that's the way i do it and i think that's a very fair way to do it anyway uh in this particular game i find it i find it funny and and i don't normally record honest to god i don't normally record these games um, with the live streams for whatever reason and I think I know one of the reasons I normally do very poorly when I'm playing against the live streamers and one of the reasons for that is that if there's a live streamer like you see in this game here Bentley and everyone else anyone that's on the opposite team oh I think he's on the outside here come on come on yeah that's right <laughs> Woo! oh my goodness your girlfriend wanted some too Yes, she did. She's like, mm, can you put some in my mouth? <laughs> sure, there's enough for everybody. Um, what happens is they all gun for me. They see my name. It's like, it's like the golden prize. It's like, 
the, the what is it the golden snitch in harry potter's like oh my god there's the snitch we must get the snitch and then they all friggin blast away at me i feel like i'm like enemy number one and so whenever we're in these games these uh public games they're just always gearing for me it's like yeah and they celebrate they're like i got guns the most i got guns i'm like man it's like it's like they forget about the objectives and it's just kill guns it becomes kill guns games which whatever it's fun and i don't really care like i said i don't normally i go in there with the expectation i'm not gonna record these i'm just gonna go in and have some fun and let them kill me because apparently that's what they like to do crap and then during the day uh it just which is when i usually get the agency stuff speaking of that hopefully today sometime which is now october October 7th, I'm going to be releasing the tryout results for the live streamers. And again, for those of you, uh, I know, you know, some of you are like, uh, and by all means, if you don't like it, it's not your cup of tea, completely understand. Uh, but we try and make the live stream subscriber service something that's appealing to them, something that gives them value. We don't, because it's a premium, because it costs us, we actually rent servers and have to pay uh, quite a bit of money. Like, I have two... Uh, internet service providers like I have to go through uh, Bell th for my actual gaming internet and then I go through Rogers for live streaming so we pay additional stuff per month plus the actual service the bandwidth in order to actually do this live streaming uh, directly from our website so it is a premium service it's only five bucks a month or whatever but we thought you know what to make it really worth the while because still I mean five bucks a month a lot of people a lot of uh, gamers or directors are doing it a lot of people are on justin tv and stuff like that and we understand that and that's all free um however so in order to provide value we add in things such as you know what whenever there's tryouts whether it's ngt elite or whether it's the agency the live stream subscribers always always get first dibs no matter what no matter how amazing any players that we come across on the internet i don't really care I put our live stream subscribers oh, above all other uh, fans and viewers and everything. Like, no offense to anyone else. Uh, it's just because, you know, there's a there's a level of dedication that, that I look at that. I think, you know what, if they're willing to put that on the line, they're willing to, you know, pay a premium service per month, then we really should be giving back to them and we should always be giving back to them. So that's what we do. So we, you know... We give game times, we have public times, uh, and it's it's a balance. It's very difficult to produce the number of videos that Spiderbite and myself produce and uh, be able to do live stream and try and do, you know, bring in players every night. So I'm juggling that right now. I'm hoping to increase it as well because right now I had to cut back quite a bit because I, I just wasn't organized enough. Uh, but we always do, and we do uh, Xbox and PS3. I think uh, last night, or maybe... No, last night uh, Spider Bite was on PS3 as well. But because Spider Bite and I both have Xbox and PS3s, we do both uh, public uh, opens on both systems. And we both, you know, like when Black Ops comes out, we'll both have, I'll have Black Ops on Xbox and PS3 so that we can play with our live stream subscribers regardless as to what system they are, in, uh, other than Wii. If you have a Wii, we won't be playing with you. Sorry, but uh, I do have a Wii, but it's just not going to happen. Oh, no. Yes, good job. So, anyway, that's what we do. And as I said, we've got the results for the agency tryouts. The next oh, tryouts for the agency, for those of you that don't know what the agency is, it's a handguns-only elite clan, uh, and that will be going to our website subscribers next, which are different from Livestream. Livestream is a premium service. Uh, website subscribers, just free. It's just, you know, you're part of the website community, uh, and we post all the stuff in there, all the notices, all little mini contests. It's really a way to stay in, in touch with us uh, a little bit closer and stay in touch with our, our community as well. Anyway, that's uh, TDM. I got a search and destroy coming up for you as well. It's for hire for next impact. And I was enemy number one, but I still prevailed. Yeah! Suck on that, live stream subscribers! Woo! Yeah!